Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte, and happy Friday. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Staminus Network Compromise and Data Leak. On Thursday, a company called Staminus, which is basically a internet hosting provider that specializes in anti-distributed denial of service protection, had their entire network go down. As it turns out, a hacking group calling themselves FTA apparently gained access to their network, stole a ton of data, and really put all their customers' websites out of business for around 20 hours on Thursday. Now, there's no complete details on how these attackers got in. However, in an easing posted on Haspin, the attackers, FTA, claimed all kinds of weaknesses in Staminus' security. For instance, they claimed the company used the same easy-to-guess root password on all their root servers. They also mentioned that they exposed their PDUs to the public with easy Telenet authentication. And they also stored all their customers' credit cards on their servers without any encryption. And as it turns out, according to this data leak, one of Stanimus's customers is the KKK, and right now the KKK site is down. Now, there's a lot of data released in the leaks, all kinds of hash databases for passwords and credentials, as well as about 15 gigabytes of Tor files that contains a lot of stolen information. So what's the point of this story? Well, I don't want to wallow in Staminus's misery. It's no fun making fun of a company that's been hacked. However, if we're to believe the FTA documents, there are a lot of security tips you can learn. For instance, you've heard me many times before say never use the same password everywhere. Using the same easy to guess root password on all your routers is probably a bad idea. If you're going to store important information for your customers, things like passwords and credit cards, you need to encrypt it in some way. If you're using hashes, you need to salt them and do other things like that to make sure that your data at rest is protected from any sort of leak in the future. So really, long story short, while it is really bragging by the hackers, I do recommend you check out the Haspin post because some of the ways that these bad guys were able to steal data should help you identify things you can do in your organization to avoid suffering the same thing Staminus did. In any case, I hope you have a great weekend. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.